Okay, here we're going to find some remaining trig values given uh, a trig value to begin with. So we've got sine of theta equals 3 fifths, theta is between 0 and pi over 2. So one thing you re want to remember is the re relationship between an angle and the sides of a triangle for a given trig function. So sine of theta is the ratio of the opposite to the hypotenuse, cosine of theta is the adjacent to the hypotenuse, tangent of the angle theta is the ratio of the opposite to adjacent, cosecant we just flip sine, secant we just flip cosine, cotangent we just flip tangent. So I'm going to come back to the angle in a second. So we're told that sine of theta is 3 fifths, so that means the opposite side is 3, the hypotenuse is 5. Well, this is a common triangle, this is just a 3, 4, 5 triangle. Again, you could find the missing side using Pythagorean theorem, we'll actually do that in the second example. So now it's just a matter of reading things off. So again, I'm, I'm going to make everything positive at the beginning, and then I'm going to think about this angle, and I'm going to adjust it as needed. So cosine of theta, that's the adjacent to the hypotenuse. So again, here's my angle theta. That would be 4 fifths. Tangent of theta, that's the opposite to the adjacent. Cosecant of theta, there's really nothing to do as long as you know that that's 1 over sine. So I'll just flip it. I'll get 5 thirds. Secant of theta, that's 1 over cosine of theta. So I'll get 5 fourths and cotangent of theta, that's just going to be 4 thirds. And the angle, okay, so it says my angle is between 0 and pi over 2. So in terms of the unit circle, that tells me that it's the angle somewhere in the first quadrant. And in that case, all the trig functions are going to be positive. So all of these will be positive. So we're done. We found the other remaining values. For 71, we've got secant of theta equals negative 1.5. I'm going to rewrite that as a fraction. I'm going to write that as negative 3 over 2. So again, I'm going to forget all about the fact that this is negative when I label my triangle. I'm going to come back and worry about the signs at the very end. Okay, so it says secant, that's the ratio of the hypotenuse to the adjacent. So that means the hypotenuse is going to have a value of 3, the adjacent is going to be 2. Okay, so if I want to find this missing side, I could use the Pythagorean theorem. 2 squared plus the missing side squared, that's going to equal 3 squared. Well, that's going to be 4. We've got 9 on the right. If we subtract, we'll have 5. I'm going to take the square root of both sides. And again, I'm just going to keep the positive solution because I'll deal with the, the, the positives and negatives at the end. Plus for a triangle, right, it's got to be a positive length. So this missing side is going to be the square root of 5. So again, now I can just read off. So sine of theta, that's going to be the opposite to the hypotenuse. So the square root of 5 over 3. Cosine of theta, well, that's going to be the adjacent to the hypotenuse, so 2 thirds. And again, we'll worry about signs here in a second. Tangent, that's the opposite over the adjacent. Whoops, I got this backwards. I said it, and I'm looking at it. I'm getting ahead of myself. So the opposite is clearly the square root of 5, and the adjacent is 2. So let's see. We want to get cosecant of theta. Well, now I can just flip. That's going to be 3 over root 5. We already know secant theta. That was given. Cotangent of theta, that's going to be 2 over root 5. You could rationalize these denominators if you want to multiply top, top and bottom by square root of 5. So you've got 3 root 5 over 5, and 2 root 5 over 5. And again, now I'm just going to think about sines. So between pi over 2 and pi, that means I'm in quadrant 2. So in that case, the y-coordinate is positive. So that means that sine is going to be positive, And likewise, cosecant is going to be positive. All the other values will be negative. So sine's positive. Let's see, cosine would be negative. Tangent would be negative. Um, cosecant is positive. Cotangent is also going to be negative. So 
We've now got the other five values. Again, it's just a matter of remembering, you know, SOHCAHTOA or however you want to remember this mnemonic and the relationship between cosecant, secant, cotangent to sine, cosine, tangent. Just make a right triangle. Um, use Pythagorean theorem to figure out the missing side. And again, you can use, what is it, all students take calculus. That's one mnemonic to remember which ones are positive. For example, this says that sine is going to be positive, and therefore 1 over sine, which is cosecant, is also going to be positive. If the angle, for example, had been in quadrant 3, it would tell me that tangent would be positive, and so also cotangent would be positive. That's if you were in quadrant 3. So, okay, nothing too terrible there, but you'll definitely be seeing right triangles and trig functions in, uh, in your calculus class. So definitely good stuff, useful stuff to remember.